Hello and welcome to Storytime with Mr. Ryan. On today, August 26th, we celebrate the birthday of Mother Teresa, a Macedonian nun who traveled to India and opened a school there to ensure that all people, even the poor and sick, have access to health care and a quality life. I believe this is a lesson we can all take in stride and ensure that our fellow human beings are living a life to the fullest. So today we read Mother Teresa, A Life of Kindness by Ellen Weiss. Let's hop on in. Have you ever known someone who was very poor or sick? Did you want to help them? Many religious groups help poor and sick people. One such group is the Catholic Church. It is the oldest and largest Christian church in the world. Many Catholics believe helping and being kind to others, especially the poor and sick, is a way of doing something for God. Some Catholic women dedicate their entire lives to God. They are called nuns. They live together with other nuns. They never marry or have children of their own. Some nuns live quiet lives devoted to prayer. Other nuns work with people especially the poor or sick. Mother Teresa was a nun who helped so many people that she became famous around the world. She was born in 1910 in a part of Europe now called Macedonia. Her name at birth was Agnes Bojahu. From the time she was young, Agnes learned to be kind and helpful. Her mother took Agnes along to deliver food and money to the poor. She also took Agnes to church each morning. Agnes admired the priests in her church. They taught her about helping people in countries all around the world. By age 12, Agnes knew she wanted to devote her life to helping others. At age 18, she left home to be a nun in Calcutta, India. She took the name Sister Teresa and began teaching in a convent school. She later became the principal of the school. Sister Teresa's life in the convent school was comfortable and happy, but she knew many people were suffering outside of the school. Calcutta was one of the poorest cities in the world. Thousands of people lived in houses of mud and cardboard in slums. Others simply lived in the street. Poor people drank dirty water and many begged for food. Sister Teresa felt a strong desire to help them. Sister Teresa decided to leave the comfort of the convent to live and work in the slums. Her life changed with that decision. From then on she wore plain clothes and ate simple food. She got medical training so she could care for sick people. She started a school to teach poor people. Many people began coming to her school to learn. In time, other nuns joined Sister Teresa in the slums. They began to call her Mother Teresa, and they formed a group called Missionaries of Charity. They gave away their things and vowed to be poor. They were kind to everyone. Mother Teresa and the nuns started clinics, orphanages, and shelters. They also gave food to people on the streets every day. Sometimes they even gave away their own food and went hungry themselves. Word spread about Mother Teresa's work. Volunteers and donations came to help. She won awards and used the award money for her work. In 1979, she won the Nobel Peace Prize. Mother Teresa died in 1997. Her life of kindness and dedication to the poor has inspired thousands of people around the world to help others in need. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me, Mr. Ryan, for this wonderful story of caring and compassion. No matter who you are, no matter what creed or religion you follow, you are always 
should be doing your best to ensure that everyone has equal access to health care, to food, to wealth, to ensure that everyone has a quality life no matter who they are. And I believe we can look to Mother Teresa to help us in making those decisions and making those changes. I encourage you to take a look at this glossary of terms in case you were unfamiliar with any of the words you saw. Please feel free to browse over it in your own time. And definitely, I encourage you to take a look at some of these further resources as well. And if you're looking for more awesome books, be sure to check out some of the other stories we have on this channel. We have a lot for you. And if you're looking for fun activities you can do from home, go ahead and check out veronalibrary.org slash children. So thank you for joining us, everyone. Until next time, I'll be seeing you. Bye-bye.